We're rolling? Why didn't you tell me, bro? Man, this going on. about to fire you, bro. Give me him the speed bag, getting all excited and then pull up. Hey! Well, this is for the uh, this is prediction vid for the uh, Alexander Povetkin Ruslan Shigaya fight that's going to be going down on the 27th of August. And it's for the uh, BS WBA title. And for some of you that don't know what BS would stand for, you know, you know me. And BS, you know, we, we don't be standing for it here, you know what I'm saying? No BS here. But this is for the BS WBA uh, title, heavyweight title. Uh, this is a prediction fight uh, video, so I will break down both fighters and then I will give my prediction at the end. I will start off with Alexander Povetkin, who is 21 0 0, 15 knockouts, 70 blah blah percentage, you know, knockout percentage. He is a smaller heavyweight at 72 pounds, or 72 inches, or 6 foot 2. What is that, 74 inches, man? Yeah, okay, we're doing math now. I don't understand. Anyway, uh, won't affect him in this fight so much because uh, Shigaev is actually smaller than he is. So we don't have to worry about that. But he is no spring chicken. He is 31 years old. So in there, you you got to worry about that. He's got to get this going. He's a 2004 Olympic gold medalist. He has uh, 19 of his 21 fights have been against opponents with winning records. So you like that. Uh, looking in there, he's been under Teddy Atlas since 2009. And if there's one thing you like about Teddy Atlas is, is he's going to give you head movement. He's going to have you hits coming off of head movement. And what I mean by that is, as whenever Pavekin moves, he hits off of it. So when he dips down, bam, you know, he's already firing shots to the body. You know, he's very uh, Tyson-like in his abilities and what you're going to start seeing. He doesn't have Tyson's power. Never said he did. But the movements are very similar. The way he uses the head movement and coming in. And, and the hitting, you know, and the hooks, you know, one, two, fire and hook, then fire into the body, and then back up again. The way he rips the uppercuts, you're going to see a lot of that, a lot of the Atlas imprint on Povetkin in this fight. Um, he has beaten some world champs with Chris Bird, Eddie Chambers, Jason Estrada, Larry Donald, uh, Sykes. I didn't say they were all world champs. He has beaten some of them. And uh, he is a legit boxer and pressure fighter. He's very, very active. For heavyweights in fact in one of his fights he threw over 900 punches so and for a heavyweight that's almost unheard of so uh, yeah and with atlas that could be even better when you see it in his last three fights he's to have been by knockout in the fifth round and then the one went the distance so and he he dominates those the fights when he comes in the fight fighters he has been fighting have been six foot six and stuff like that so he doesn't have necessarily the power to put out a bigger guy like that, but he does have the speed to get out of the way of the punches. Hit, come up, put his combinations together, looks very good doing it. He has good hand speed. He has a nice left hook that comes in there, and he pounds that to the head and to the body when you're watching that. The uppercuts, you know, look like almost Tyson-esque, the way he rips them up in there. He fights, he's good on the inside. He has good cumulative power. With that and with the smaller fighters, I think that definitely will take it. He has an average jab. He doesn't use it enough to get inside. Difference, you know, with other Atlas fighters is, is they pound that jab out there on you and then work their way in. Uh, Povetkin, he doesn't have that amazing jab. It's just average. It's a good jab, but it's you know, just average. You know, looking there, he will struggle with reach fighters. He's not going to have to worry about that in this fight. He is open for counter punchers. You know, he does tend to get a little uh, little open there, and he tends to wing it out a little bit when he's pumping. When he pumps that jab, he's coming out from here, and that elbow's high. You know, whereas instead of being straight and firing out like that, you know, he, he wings it out. He tends to wing it up, and he can be open for some of those shots. But, um, you know, you got to like what you see there, and, and especially in the last couple fights, he's really taking that the years since 2009, the years of, a knowledge from Atlas, and he's putting it to good work. Over to Ruslan Shigaev, who is the, the white Tyson. This is like the Battle of the Tysons, you know, the one that is just named, like, shares a name similarity with Tyson, the other one shares a fighting similarity with Tyson. Uh, Ruslan Shigaev, he is uh, pretty small for heavyweight standards at 6'1 with a 74-inch reach. It's kind of short. 
you're six one, you should have a bigger reach. Anyway, you know, he is a southpaw, so that's something going for him. He shares some commonalities with like Michael Moore and Sultan Abragamoff and those guys that are, that were uh, southpaws that have won the title. Uh, Two-time amateur world champion. He beat Savan and all that. You know, that was eventually going to happen. He is 32 years old, so he's definitely no spring chicken either. Uh, he His one loss that he came was, uh, was a beating that was administered by Vladimir Klitschko, who pounded him basically into submission, and then the referee in his corner decided he had taken taken enough punishment. Now he just can't fight the bigger fighters. Uh, 22 of his 27 opponents have winning records. He is, uh, Walker was... Uh, coming off of two knockouts though in his last fight so let's not get too carried away he only has two knockouts in his last 10 fights and he's also been knocked out once in his last 10 fights well stop TKO you know what I'm saying um, so his power has not carried up as he's fighting the better heavyweights you know he did great beating up the bums but once he got up to the bigger ones two knockouts in 10 fights that does not constitute power you know in the heavyweight division he's got 17 knockouts but as you can see, they pretty much stopped once he started fighting the better guys. Uh, he's beaten uh, heavyweights before <laughs> in John Ruiz, uh, Valuev, and Skelton. And those are like the top three fighters that he's actually fought and beat. You know, and Walker, if you want to throw him in there, then you're pretty much devaluing the other guys. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, quality of opposition. Um, when you're looking there, not a lot of head movement. He has a pawing jab. I don't see the similarities. He could cut down to like 215 pounds as opposed to coming in at 232 or something like that. Because I, when, you, when you look at him, it basically looks like me with my shirt off. I could cut 20 pounds and <laughs> you know, look a lot better, you know what I'm saying? So there's definitely weight there. He's not overly aggressive. He moves straight back. Uh, not a lot of Tyson power when you expect that. He's slow. Uh, in this fight, you're definitely going to see a difference in speed uh, he the power hasn't carried over to the better opponents he's open for the counters however he is okay at countering as well you know he will fire out that straight left hand and do some damage himself there's nothing that really jumps out at you like wow that, that's amazing he's a good boxer he uh, carries a high D in there he tries to do a peekaboo but it's just a variation of the peekaboo you know the hands are up high here you know, he, he tries to work it as best he can, but he's not, he doesn't pull it off. Not like a Tyson, but he just came out, man, with a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You, uh, you can't just call a dude White Tyson, man. Anyway, and looking at this, when it's all said and done, I believe uh, Povetkin will win this by unanimous decision. I don't think he'll stop Shigayev, but I think he'll win. I think the body work will, um, that Povetkin will put in will carry over into the later rounds, and that will slow uh, Shigayev up even more, allowing uh, Povetkin to uh, cruise to, uh, to a solid uh, UD. Uh, you could even see possibly a late stoppage, but the thing is I don't think Povetkin has that kind of power to really do that, and Shigayev took a good nine-round beating from uh, Klitschko, and he, he, can take a, he can take a pretty good shot, okay? Well, hey, it's a big ragu. And uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and uh, be my friend. Yeah. I'm going to have Guardo punch you in the face. Yeah. Anyway, Big Ragu, I'm out.